Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And this entire week, we're going to be talking about polypoid lesions and how to make the di these diagnoses. Um, these are always exciting because it's like I always say, Uncle Henry, you know, when you haven't seen him for a long time, once you see it and you know the pattern, it always comes back to you real quickly. <clears throat> so um, the first case that we're going to talk about this week is an accessory nipple. Yeah, accessory nipple. Um, meaning you have a third nipple or even sometimes even more than that. And uh, they can happen both in men and women. And you can see here, you know, things that you may just consider as a small mole or, you know, like a hemangioma. So these are accessory nipples. Um, here, here you got another one here. And these essentially happen along anywhere along the milk line. So it can start from the axilla and you know, go through where the normal nipples are found and then down your abdomen, all the way down to the groin. And in a small percentage of people, they also occur elsewhere too. So let's come to our first case, the case that I posted. So from low power, you can see that this is sort of a polypoid or a lifted nodule. And you can see that the epidermis is somewhat thickened and um, reticulated acanthosis out here. So the clue here is that when you see a lifted papule like this, you're, in your head, you need to be thinking about what is causing the epidermis and, and the skin to become lifted like this. And if you notice towards the center, you also have a central sort of invagination and opens up to a um, area of like sebaceous glands in here. If you look closely, um, you may be able to make out some pale pink kind of bundles of, of um, some kind of tissue in there. And then here you have a ductular glandular like epithelium. So let's go to higher power to see what these pink bundles are. And this is sort of a, uh, these are smooth muscle bundles, and we can tell that they're smooth muscle bundles because the nuclei here are typically within the center, and you can, if you look around, you'll be able to see some vacuolated areas. So this will tell me that these are smooth muscle bundles, as opposed to skeletal muscle bundles where you will have the nuclei around the periphery of the muscle bundle. <clears throat> so these are smooth muscle bundles, and this is one of the main uh, diagnostic criteria, <clears throat> at least to me, for except to know that you're dealing with an accessory nipple. You see abundant uh, number of smooth muscle bundles. And these are important because if you think about the way the breast works and milk production works, um, the smooth muscles are, are the muscles that are contracting and you know um, allowing that milk to reach the actual nipple. And here you can see this is, this is not normal kind of like eccrine ductal epithelium. This is um, breast uh, glandular, or sorry, breast ductal epithelium. You can see that it's doing this uh, secretions off the surface. We call these apocrine decapitations. And okay, so uh, let me bring out another case here. This is another case it's from Path Presenter. Um, you can see very similar kind of picture, slightly lifted uh, skin and central invagination opens up to an area of sebaceous glands. And if we, this one, it's even e easier to see the smooth muscle bundles, all these kind of pink, pink uh, fascicular-like structures, and uh, the nuclei are in the center, and probably we'll be able to find some vacuolated things in there. That, that tells you that you're dealing with smooth muscle, okay? This one doesn't show any glandular epithelium, but that's okay. We still not know that this is a accessory nipple. And finally, this last one, it's not as, not as uh, sort of papillomatous, uh, but you do have acanthosis and areas of invagination, like in here and out here. Uh, and again, that invagination opens up to an area of sebaceous glands. And out here, you can see that this here, these are our smooth muscle bundles again, so we're all consistent from start to finish. Um, these are our smooth muscle bundles, central nuclei. The one thing that people people occasionally confuse the smooth muscle bundles and um, here you have neural bundles. And you can see that the, the nerve fibers here are, the nuclei are a little bit more elongated than round. Um, out here you can see that most of them are round, but I guess that's not the best criteria. Um, because ner <laughs> nerve bundles can also be round too, depending on what plane. So that's not a good criteria. I guess. Uh, Okay, well, um, accessory nipple. Thanks, guys. If, you, if this has helped you all, um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with other people. Thanks.